All right, guys. Quick chance I get to make this. Uh, part two of the aquarium cleaning with vinegar. Safe for fish, everything else. Uh, hopefully that weed, uh, not weed eater, the uh, leaf blower in the background doesn't, you know, cause too much trouble. But uh, hey, check it out. So, if you watched the last video, not part one, but the last video before this one I posted, it will show you what I'm using. So, let's get into it. Oh yeah, and uh, pardon me, but uh, you'll see this shirt a lot. I like them. I cut sleeves off all my damn shirts, and I have like two or three of these, so don't hate. Anyway, side, you saw me. Well, I got ahead of myself, but anyway, I'm going to show you in this one. Let's go down just a wee bit here. All right, so... You see how this is this is how i got it. this is a used aquarium it sat for so long you'll hear it in part one the story but look at here see that that's the first side i got three sides like this as you can see there's another yucky one now here's the side we're gonna do right now or, well, you know what? We might do this side. You can see this side. Whatever. We're going to do this because all it's easier. So we take this. Granted, it's easy on this little stupid table I made forever ago for other projects. But it's a 55 tall. Well, 55, I guess 55 tall. It's a um, almost a cube. I think it's uh, 18 by 20 maybe 18 by 20 or something like that but anyway here we go we're getting into it so you've seen part one this is part two so what we do we take our vinegar like I said you can use 100% vinegar and yes doesn't matter where it came from I'm not sponsored none of that crap but whatever this is what I'm using you can either use 100%, you can use a bottle. This is 50-50 vinegar, water, 50-50 mix. So you can use that. I'm just going 100% vinegar because it breaks down, uh, it breaks down a lot quicker. So what I do is this. I take it, you see how nasty and it's real hard calcium buildup. So I'll take the vinegar and I'll pour it wherever much as i want or probably you know up to the silicone past the silicone line which yes i'm eventually going to strip this tank redo it i'm just trying to set it up and cycle it well i'm trying to set it up fill it up make sure it don't leak and then uh, cycle it and just whatever it's just a play around tank for now and i might strip it out and redo it all and i don't know but anyway this is raw i'm trying not to cut edit nothing but here you go look so we take this vinegar right you pour that tank on its side. You dump this bad boy in till you feel the whole, fill that whole surface up. Not quite there. So what I did, because I'm over here in dirt in the yard, what I did was took a level. That's level enough. It just ain't enough vinegar. Pour a little more vinegar in there. All right. Let that sit. See, it's all been, that's 100%. Now that gunky is pretty thick. I couldn't even get with my razor blade and I'm good with a razor blade. I ain't scratching glass. I tried it already first. Got most of it like the stuff over here and the stuff in the grooves for the lid. I got a lot of that. But uh, what I'm gonna do is let this soak for about five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, whatever. 15 minutes, if you're busy, 20 minutes, it don't matter. 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. I don't, I don't, I, I, I mean, I'm not judging. That's why this channel's called Budget Hobbies. <laughs> but we're gonna do it and it's gonna work. And vinegar, man, is cheap. White distilled vinegar. Um, so we're gonna let that sit and uh, I will come back in two seconds. We'll wipe it down with a rag. 
course flies love vinegar and it's hot as hell down here in south texas so that's that uh i'm gonna come back in about 10 15 minutes we're gonna wipe it down and it'll be clean as what you saw on this side stick around all right guys well i'm impatient it's been about five minutes so what we gonna do grab a rag I got a bucket down here, well, down here, with water in it, just because keep my wag wet, whatever, to keep rinsing. But uh, here you go. So I don't know if you can see in the camera, there's a bunch of purple and there's a bunch of nasty algae. Look at this. We're gonna wipe it off. You ain't got a scrub, you literally just kind of wipe across it. Some parts you might have to scrub, but like I said, 10, 15 minutes, break it down a lot better. I did five because I'm impatient, but you might want to hold your breath if you stick your head in there because it stinks. Just give it a good wipe down. Okay. Get up some of that silicone, uh, uh, rub some of the corners of that silicone. It's straight vinegar. Don't get it all over you because, like I said, it stinks. I don't hate vinegar, but I don't love it. But you know what? You might have heard from your mama and daddy growing up, it works. All kind of stuff. It kills this, it kills that. Look here, look here on the rim. Now watch this. Soak that rag in some of that vinegar, right? Get up in there and just see if that if I need to let that soak if I have to or I got my spray bottle like can spray it I can come in here with the razor blade I didn't hit this with the razor blade yet I hit this and I hit all this with the razor blade it did look like that it looked like that all the way around all that white all that calcium all that build up but look at here we just gonna wipe it down <coughs> oh Well, I've been down like so. This is a quick method. Like I said, I'm impatient. I want to get this done. All right. Get it real good. You can feel on your rag. You can feel that algae and that calcium coming off. You can feel some rough spots. Get another little wipe. You feel that that rag slide smooth on there, right? That means that's clean glass, baby. All right. I'll just dump some of it. Don't matter. Just for the video, I'm gonna show you. All right. A little more to do. Maybe wipe down the outside, depending on. Look, all that's just outside condensation from sitting there on the. There on that here. But look, I'm gonna take my 50 50 real quick. I'm gonna hose it down. And give it a quick wipe. Look at there. Huh? What y'all think? Now, granted, you got bits and pieces and little stupid stuff, but that'll come out with the hose. But that's clean as a whistle. Huh? There you go. We're gonna spin it around. But look. There's the first side there, clean. This side right here, granted it ain't as dry, but it's clean. It don't look like that, it looks like that. So, stay tuned for part three.